Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Zen, and we are back with another episode of our franchise mode in the desert where we're finally able to add some awesome Australian animals into our zoo. And we started off last week. What, the, what, what was that? Oh my goodness. And so we started off last week with some kangaroos. And in this episode, we're definitely going to build a walk-in habitat for the beautiful koalas. So I am just super excited for that because I am not really that used to building walk-in habitats. So that is going to be very exciting. And uh, also before we jump into that, I want to make sure that our animals are doing well. So we have Niala still being stressed right over here. Uh, this is the only habitat we did not add some ugly one-sided glass yet. Um, I didn't really got any any glass panels yet that we could maybe replace these fences with. So yeah, I'm just gonna gonna wait and see for that before I'm going to replace that. We might want to quickly add some one-sided glass for the Nialas here too. Uh, I don't want to, but it is what it is, I guess. Are you playing with your toy? Ah, oh, well, I can't remember making this toy a brown color. I thought they were all blue. <laughs> Did I? I'm not really sure, actually. Uh, vet research complete. So, oh, yeah. So I got some really cool climbing frames, I think from Nathanag in our Discord server. Uh, for the koalas, but I do have to make sure that I have this research so I can't put them in just yet. So that's something I'm gonna wait for uh, before I start building because that will be really, really useful. Uh, call mechanic, is this too far away? Are you in the work zone? Might be worth checking real quick. Uh, do we, ha we have an everything run, right? Yes, okay, everything. Uh, everything seems to be in everything work roster, so I'm not really sure uh, why that is. Uh, let's have a look at our staff real quick. Uh, we need to make sure that we train these guys. Let's just train all of these so far. And let's have a look. I think we're gonna do just the same with all the keepers and make sure that they're happy and trained mechanics we only have four mechanics so maybe that is why um let's first of all train them all um where can i hire oh there we go okay mechanics i'm gonna just quickly add three more just to be sure that we have enough how about security we only have four security guards we're gonna add four more we have a quite a big zoo right now honestly it's really far away to walk from one side to the other side so i think it's really a good thing to just add a few more staff in here and we have tons of money so that is all good so i'm just gonna make sure that all these guys will be trained too once we can i see only one one security guard being trained right now so that's definitely a thing and we also need to make sure that our vendors are trained. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna make sure that everything will be trained in the end by like maximum amount of stars. I think that's the best thing to do. We only have three vets. Do we want to add another vet? I think let's grab two just just to be sure. And we're also going to train those guys, of course. So let's have a look. How is everything doing? Black wildebeest. Is also stressed but this is pretty big habitat so I'm actually not really worried about that too much uh, facilities having a negative impact wait since when I can't remember that this was a thing oh wait only for the toilets well yeah well I I can't remember that we had a staff room in there should just add it back in here i guess that will fix everything but for now i'm just gonna keep it like so what else do we have water treatment requires repairment water treatment requires repairment yeah okay so it's a good thing 
we have some more mechanics right now they as i said they have to walk pretty far to get there and to uh, to reach it but i think it's gonna be fine many t guest tickets are on their prize let's go to 36 for now and see if that will make our guests super happy uh, guest educational rating could be a little bit higher the rest i'm quite happy with so far uh, so yeah, I think our desert franchise zoo is coming along pretty nicely and uh, Yeah, with expanding it for more animals. It's just gonna be super amazing. I'm pretty sure of that uh, So let me just quickly add some one-sided glass here for the Nialas to make sure that those guys are less stressed in the future all right do i like this no definitely not but for now it is the best solution for our lovely lovely nialas also to make sure that they're not getting too stressed in the future because while well, the signs and stuff are just not really working unfortunately and it's really busy here let's be honest it's super busy right now over here so yeah, we might we might want to look into like different animals getting less stressed in these habitats and maybe go and start moving them or I don't really know. Uh, but the glass is definitely going to work out. Uh, well, uh, yeah, uh, animal that Niala stressed great. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to build a walking habitat for the awesome koalas and stop being stressed you. Do we have anything we can collect here? No, I don't think so. Or a yearly, yearly info kiosk profit of 500. Release to the wild. One spot hyena. Can we do that? I just am curious because we have hyenas here. And this little kibibi baby. How old are you? You're a juveline and oh, well we can arrange that in the future so we have a lady right over here but we can also maybe just release the parents in the wild and get like a meal together with the lady what are you gonna do you guys are on to something aren't you <laughs> cuties they're so adorable <laughs> I love these guys. Amazing. All right. So I'm just going to wait until it's daytime again and wait until I have all the research for the koalas. And then I'm going to build a walk-in habitat. I'm still not sure if I'm going to do it on this side or on that side. The silly lady kept waiting and waiting and waiting until I realized like, oh, wait a second. Koala playground with enrichment pieces. It's because of the enrichment pieces. Most likely that I first have to put down the koala in order to research it and then being able to uh, to put it down. So I was like constantly trying to do my research, but um, I have it now on full. Can you imagine? So yeah, it's definitely the enrichment items. I feel a little bit dumb that I didn't realize that beforehand, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna work on that. Uh, so we have all the research now for the hyena, which is actually really cool. Uh, let's make sure that we are going to do a lot of research. We're researching the kangaroo. Let's make sure that we have all these animals like advanced research. So, okay, let's go and start building that koala walk-in habitat.
So this is the base of our walking habitat for the koalas. So I want to make sure that they're already inside here so I can do the research on them because else it's going to take forever for me to be able to put those uh, blueprints in here. And uh, we're obviously going to add a few bigger trees. And if that blueprint is like cool enough with like the climbing frames and stuff, we're gonna see if we can uh, use it a little bit more often or maybe create something similar like that. Obviously, we're gonna add a lot of green and stuff here. And we're gonna hide this staff area away too because that is not what we want. Uh, probably with, uh, with some green or some trees and stuff. And there is the first koala. I'm actually not sure. We might change this orange path to the natural path. Uh, I'm just going to see how it's going to look when I add some things to it. We are getting th four koalas in here. So one male and three females. Look at him run. Obviously, he can't really climb and stuff. So we do need to make sure that we uh, we give the koalas a little bit what they need. Because else we're going to get protesters in. And we don't want that, actually. And I do want to avoid that people will stop here and then watch the koalas instead. I really want them to walk into the habitat i'm actually thinking to maybe make this a little bit more smaller curve so less close to these rocks but let's just have a look how we can change this and make sure that we're going to do some vat research oh, but to unlock those blueprints oh my goodness uh, let's have a look let's just grab you and where is the koala can we go down here there you go there's the koala so we're going to research you and hopefully unlock everything as soon as possible. But let's just add some green in here first.
So it took quite some time to finally get this amazing climbing frame. Oh my goodness, this is really, really cool. I really like this one. I wonder what the enrichment item was because this one I already had. Maybe the herb center? I'm unsure what it was that I had to unlock. Now I am curious if I put it down right so the koalas will be able to just climb everywhere. So let's have a look at that. Yep, this should all be very, very good. Oh, this is really cool. Are they now having enough shelter? They still don't have enough shelter. I've been playing around a lot with uh, these things, like these awnings. Um, I think 65% is not super bad. I think the enrichment is definitely more important at this point. Um, it's a hard one. I do really like this climbing frame. It's super adorable. I'm not really sure uh, if they will use it a lot. We just have to wait and see, I guess. But it's really cute. I really like it. Did you create something else too? Because I did see something more. Uh, how you call it? Playground? Maybe climbing? We also have some climbing frames for our, um... Look at that. For our jaguars. I'm not really sure if this is the one. I don't think so. This is looking really cool. I'm unsure if this is for the uh, koalas. <gasps> We're getting some baby kangaroos! Oh my god, I definitely want to see that because that's so cute. I can't wait to see that. Can you please wake up for me? Hello. Where is your little baby Joey in your pouch? Show us. Um, I know it's in there. I know it is. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I love this animation so much. It's so freaking adorable. I can't help it, guys. It's just so adorable. I really, really love it. We have a little baby kangaroo. A rat Bam Bam. Bam Bam. Oh, that's an amazing name. Bam Bam, the kangaroo male. That's awesome. All right, so let's have a look because this is the koala walking habitat. Obviously, we need to do a lot here with some more decorations and more green. So that's definitely not finished yet. People walking down here, all the way down. And then we have a nice relaxing area right over here for the koalas. And, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, you're you're sitting a little bit weird, but you're, you are using it. I do really like that. Is there anyone else that is using it too? I don't think so. Oh, wait, this enrichment item is now unlocked. Of course it is. Now, that is the one we were looking for. So we have one of that. Uh, we might want to add another one in the habitat because let's have a look. Is it already unlocked here? Yes, it's here. Uh, we might want to add just one more and maybe just one over here. We have four koalas. We might need even more. Even more than that. I think I'm just going to put you down right over here. Why do you remove my grass? Just give me some grass back not too much thank you oh, oh i removed everything there you go just a little patch of grass we might want to add one also on the other side then because for four koalas i'm not really sure how much you would need for that uh, maybe we can add one here like that also add again a little patch of grass if we can there you go. Looks just a little bit more realistic to me, but that's just personal, I guess. Do we need some grass underneath here? I like the foliage. How you did that, Nathan Egg? This is really cool. And as always, you can find this one also in the collection list if you want to download it yourself. Look at the koala! <laughs> that was so cute! I always miss out on that animation. It's always too far away. Never up close. But I do really hope we will see it up close one day. 
They're so adorable, aren't they? They're really cute. I really like these guys. So adorable. <laughs> All right, let's just add a little bit more soil. Like that. Just to have some variation in, in the textures of the ground and the flooring. I like that a lot. So this is actually a really, really uh, relaxing area for the koalas and for the guests to also uh, get some shade because they're pretty much... Well, not too many trees, but there are some trees to get some shade. We might want to look into some more awnings here to get some more shade for a guest. Because mostly we now have some shading areas for the koalas. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy. Oh, look at this one. Look at you. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. How can people not like koalas? They're so adorable, aren't they? I love these guys. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this walk-in habitat for the beautiful koalas. And what would you guys want to see in the next episode? What animal would you like to see in the next one? Do let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.